Hello everyone, my name is Lycan, and I am standing here with David Kim. Uh, David, we're gonna start this off selfishly. As a Terran, I have a question for you. Uh, the missile turret, Legacy of the Void, you made it a barracks requirement, and then you recently moved it back to the engineering bay requirement. What I'd like to know is, what were you seeing internally that made you decide to go back to the old way? Uh, so one of the main goals for Legacy of the Void is to have more action throughout the course of the whole game. And this change, we felt like it kind of diminishes the opportunities for other players to go, say, things like oracles, um, DT openers, uh, Banshee openers, uh, fast tech the mutas before getting the third, things like that. So in order to have more action still, we reverted this change. Okay. Uh, there were a lot of pros that still felt that it was a good change and they were sad to see it go. Since the legacy of the Void beta is still early, is there any chance that we'll get that back to test a little more? Yeah, I think uh, any change within the beta, uh, it's not really set in stone. So um, there is that chance, but for this specific case, because uh, it was a change that kind of goes against one of our main pillars for Legacy of the Void, um, I kind of wonder if it's more unlikely than other changes uh, to come back. Okay. All right, so with the recent increase uh, in developer feedback to the community, uh, how do you guys feel about that change in approach? Um, so uh, I guess if we start from the beginning, uh, when the community kind of blew up, uh, it was two weekends ago, mm -hmm. um, saying there's not a lot of communication, um, we don't take a lot of community feedback, things like that. We were very surprised to hear that internally because we were thinking, um, we listen to so much community feedback and so much of our decisions uh, heavily rely upon community feedback and so on. Um, so what we so we gathered uh, with our dev team, we talked to the community team members, uh, our esports team members and so on, and our conclusion was that it wasn't the fact that we were not listening to anyone's feedback, but we could improve heavily in terms of communicating where have we listened to you guys, where we disagree, and our reasons why, things like that. And that's why uh, we started doing this uh, feedback process. And initially, I think it's looking good and everyone's happy because um, it's a good step in the right direction because keeping everyone in the community more in the loop means they can be more involved in the development process, which is definitely what we want to do. So I guess we'll see going forward, but initially I think it's looking great. Yeah, I agree. And now with the, uh, you come to an event like this, you have a large gathering, a very condensed number of mm -hmm. pros and professionals and uh, you know, people in the scene. Uh, how do you go about gathering feedback from them for continuing development? So personally, I think it's more effective to talk uh, more on a personal basis with pro players because it can get kind of out of hand if there's multiple pros, uh, especially with differing um, opinions, which happens very frequently because pro players mostly play uh, their own one race. Um, so I try my best to just kind of uh, isolate each player when they have time, uh, get feedback that way. And if he is a very constructive, uh, less biased, um, and if, he, if it feels like he would be good for our development process, then I try to keep in touch with him in the future and then talk to him uh, on various topics and ask him for his advice and so on. But I do feel like we can do a little better job of that. And as part of that, uh, we are working towards having a more private channel set up. So even if I don't know the person personally, um, he has a chance to communicate uh, directly with us and people on the dev team and to get feedback that way so that uh, we can make Legacy the Void as best as we can. Awesome, awesome. Well, David, I want to thank you for taking time to, to chat with us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, David Kim, and you'll hear more from the late game and myself liking uh, throughout the tournament. Thank you, David. Thank you.